animals are slowing down a bit on the egg production. Four eggs, I'm getting anywhere from four to six a day now, and they're all from my six uh, standard size breeds laying large brown eggs. The four bantams have stopped laying completely. I think perhaps it's time for them to start molting, and I'll probably even get less eggs as time goes on here, but they're a little over a year old, uh, about 13 months old now, so they'll go through their first molt and stop laying eggs for a few weeks soon. Well, while the girls are out free ranging, I'm going to do a little work here in the hoopos, but I wanted to show you the peas about to be harvested. That's the first task this evening, and then I've really got to do some watering in here, but there's a, a couple of things that I'll show you before I do the watering. Looks like we're finally into summer weather here. Uh, the temperature in the hoopos got up to almost 40 degrees today. It's still at 7 o'clock in the evening. It's still around 30 in here, and practically no humidity. It's very dry, so the ground in here has got very dry. I've got to make sure everything is watered before another sunny day arrives tomorrow. Anyway, give you a little look at the peas here. of them so I won't make you watch me doing very much of the picking but I just wanted to give you an average idea they're small pods um, well I don't know two and a half three inch pods on average and I've opened and eaten a lot of them raw and they are uh, very sweet and tender nice peas but only six at most sometimes seven I guess but five or six on average peas to the pod I don't think that's because I grow them in the hoopos. I think that's the early season variety, which I can't remember the name of right now, but I'll show you what I get out of this harvest in a little bit. Oops. Well, that's not too bad, I don't think, for an area of peas that was uh, about three feet wide, four feet long. Uh, as I say, the pods are small. I didn't pick them all. There's still a few left here and there on the on the vines. I plan to pull the vines up and uh, give them to the hens. They've never had peas before, so I intentionally left a few pods here and there for them to, to try. I'll show you two or three things here in the hoop house and then get this closed down. And possibly before I go to bed tonight, if I get these shelled out, I'll show you how many peas there are in the bowl. I finally got around to putting the wire supports in for the grapevines. Very loose wires because I didn't want to put any tension on the hoops there. The wires are tied uh, from a uh, hook eye on the, on the wood here up to one of the hoops in the hoopo. So I intentionally made them loose. But you can see here or not, this was just done yesterday. And already this particular vine has grabbed on in two places on the wire. This is the wire here. Down below, there's another one that's reached out and grabbed onto this vine that's coming up. So it looks like the uh, wire system is going to be used by them, and I don't think it'll, it'll ever be heavy enough that it will uh, pull it down or anything. Certainly not this year, because I'm not looking for any grapes this year. When I'm recording this, it's June 14th, and I already have scapes, garlic scapes, on my garlic plants. That's uh, really early for me. If they had been planted out in the garden, I wouldn't have expected to see scapes before at least the middle of July. So hopefully that means they'll also be ready to harvest earlier, I guess. But another week or so, and I'm going to have to pick the scapes. I like dehydrating them. They made a nice uh, powder when I dehydrated them and ground them up. Used it as a seasoning, mostly in rice. It was very good last year. So looking forward to picking the scapes. This little segment is for Gary in Germany, who gave me the seeds for these Japanese shishito peppers. Um, when he showed his on his last video, I thought, hmm, I don't know, I hope I've got the right plant labeled correctly here. Mine looked different. 
and they're doing something kind of strange. They're a nice bushy little little plant. Uh, oh, they're not very tall yet. 10 inches maybe, I guess. But once they reach that height, there's three of them in a row here, and all three did the same thing. It's almost like someone pinched out the center, but I didn't pinch out the center. And it's growing three branches out the center of each one of the stalks as it come up. They are budded, no blossoms out yet, but I have hopes of some shishito peppers before the summer is out. Anyway, Gary, that was for you. Leave a comment, tell me if you think I've got the right plant here. There's the peas harvested and the vines removed. Hopefully tomorrow I'll find time to put some compost in there and a little organic fertilizer and plant a few cucumber plants, I think, or from seed anyway. Put up some sort of a trellis later on for them, maybe. But just a little look down the aisles here in the hoop house. Nothing in great detail this evening. It's now 8 o'clock and starting to get a bit shady here. The sun's not set, but it's gone down below the tree line here, so it gets kind of dark in this area. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And like I say, if I get those peas shelled out before I go to bed tonight, I'll show my bowl of peas. Oh, the peas are shelled. I did some checking also on the variety. Uh, it's an early season dwarf variety called Dakota. Nice peas. I enjoy the taste of them and everything, but a lot of additional work when you consider the few peas that are in each pod. I must have been two hours shelling out that bowl of peas. But anyway, look forward to trying them. Good night, everybody.